I've got a big problem. I met a woman in a bar. When I said last session you should get out there to meet someone, I don't recall suggesting a bar. I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. If I didn't meet anybody, then at least I could cheer myself up with a drink or two. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So, what's the problem? Oh, man. A goddess walked in and sat next to me. To me, a mere mortal. I knew immediately something was wrong. Oh, come on, you're exaggerating. Mm -hmm. You need to keep working on your self-confidence. No, you gotta trust me on this. It doesn't make any sense. This is not the kind of woman that you would find at a local bar. Me? This is you sound really strange, but mm -hmm. I need somebody to talk to and tell me I'm not crazy. You look perfectly rational to me. Um why don't I why don't I buy us a round of drinks and then we can drown our sorrows together? I'll take you up on that drink for now. Just coffee. Coffee. I can't let myself fall asleep. Two coffees? Why don't you want to fall asleep? I have this recurring nightmare. It just keeps coming relentlessly. The only break I get is when I'm awake. You mean like a uh, horror flick? Like Nightmare on Elm Street? No. No, absolutely nothing like that. Do you have any idea? what it's like to fear sleep? Well, yeah. Yes, I do. I did two tours in Iraq. It was an Abrams TC, 1st Cavalry Division. I'm seeing a shrink. I still have bad dreams. It's been years. It's, it's more than just a bad dream. It's, it's way worse. It really feels... Supernatural. When did this all start? The dreams. After I met you, that year. After you told me his story. It sounds to me like this man did a real number on you. Let me, let me give you my shrink's telephone number because he's helping me. It's really good. <sighs> Fuck me. No, about that. There's something that I think you should. This know. number is it's everywhere. I think I think maybe it's it's a warning or something. My shrink's telephone number? No, 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 eleven thirty-four. It's 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 fucking everywhere. That's a four digit number. It only occurs like ten thousand times. It's bound to pop up frequently. I thought it I thought it might be a date in history, so I so I, I went to the library and I did some searching, but I I couldn't find anything that happened that year. At least not in the Gregorian calendar. I mean, it was the middle of dark ages. Nothing happened. So I thought, okay, 1134 Islamic. That's the 1744 us. But I still couldn't find anything I recognized. I mean, there's, there's the Assyrian, the Buddhist, Chinese, Korean. I mean, Jesus, do you know how many fucking calendars there are? Warning, I, just, I don't know. No, You're rambling. It is. Let's get back to this guy. What did he tell you? It's the same things, the same things I'm telling you. It's, 
dream in the world. to dive into that well, become a part of all the nightmares and the other stuff below. It's like a perverted, incestuous embrace. It's so wrong. But it's sucking me towards it. Incestuous? <laughs> Ever had those dreams where you're so sure you're awake, but you're so scared that you can't move? You bet. Instead of being frozen, I am urged on. I am turned on like a dog in heat. There's no logic to it. It's just pure. Animal instinct. I can't resist it. Hey, come back. Come back to me. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's reaching out to me, and I'm awake. That's it. I'm calling my shrink first thing in the morning. We've got to get you some help. You don't believe me. You think I'm crazy? All right. All right. Where is this well? Maybe we can go check it out together. I, I, I don't want to. I'm too afraid I'll find it. I guess. Should I draw you when I wake up in the morning? Mm-hmm. There's mud on my feet. Sleep well. This way, I think that's. I think that's what it is. And I. Mm-hmm. I've tried. Everything to stop it. I've, I've, I've locked my doors. I've handcuffed myself to bed, but nothing works. Jesus, it must be close. Not necessarily. I found mud on my car tires, too. You have to find somebody to go home with you and watch you while you sleep and find out what the hell is going on. That's exactly why I'm here, because because I'm at the end of my rope. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I need somebody to come home with me and watch me as I sleep. You mean me? A complete stranger? Are you crazy? Oh, come on. Spirits, wells, death. What is this? Some crazy S and M shit? Help me. I don't know what else to do. Me. That's what it takes. <clears throat> Taking advantage of a psychotic isn't exactly the kind of relationship I'd had in mind for you either. I assume you left her alone. Not exactly. Did you tell her about your little problem? No! I don't have to. Because I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured. I convinced her to stay in the bar with me until we both fell asleep. Listen, dog, I came back to you early because I don't know what to do. Shit. Time's up. This is interesting, but can you tell me what the hell is really going on? The dreams. Lowell. The same animal urges. They've hooked me too. They've hooked me too. And, and, and you want it to go away? No! Don't you understand? She's my cure and I can't find her. Scott, I can understand your excitement if you've gotten past your erectile dysfunction. But if, but if I heard you correctly, didn't you mention suicide? Jumping into a well?
Now I want you to take two of these at night before bed to our next session next week. Okay? Very important. Scott. Scott. What is it? It's a prescription. It should help you sleep. Understand why can't you let me finish? And if you have any more of these crazy thoughts, I want you to go immediately to this address and check yourself in. They'll call me. Detective, this is Scott Morgan. I came by and I filed a missing person report a few days ago. Well, isn't this timely? I was just about to give you a call. Why is that? Have you found Kara? Well, no. But we did find her place. Seems she hasn't returned. As a matter of fact, you seem to be the last one to have seen her. We need to talk. My God. Is she dead? Am I a... Suspect? Come by tomorrow so we can have a talk. If I don't see you, we'll be sure to send a car by to get you. Scott. Thank you. 
Hello? Dr. Schumann? This is him. I'm Detective Stewart, Doctor. Do you have a patient named Scott Morgan? Yes. Uh, actually, he had an appointment earlier today, but he was a no-show. I was just about to leave a phone message for him. Is he all right? Well, he's missing. And we want to talk to him. Detective, he may be suicidal. I'm afraid he's also a suspect in another disappearance. Roger. Please, Roger, come. Roger. Helen? 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 Please speak again. I miss you so much. Where are you? 